We've got new video that shows the moments right before a father of four was killed on the Cross Bronx Expressway over the weekend. Police say it all started as a road rage incident, and they have yet to arrest or identify the shooter. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis spoke to the victims. He's right? in the Bronx in Fordham Heights. Marcus. Well, Joe and Sandra, that is cell phone video that was shot by the victim obtained by Eyewitness News. We are blurring it as police continue to search for the shooter. In the meantime, the investigation in full swing. Detectives here at the 46th Precinct today speaking with one of the men who was there the night of the fatal shooting. He just cared a lot for others. He is Fausto Rodriguez, the auto shop worker killed in a road rage incident this weekend on the Cross Bronx Expressway. And this is the cell phone video from that encounter that may have sparked the shooting. The suspect angry he was being recorded. The incident began when Rodriguez was rear-ended by this white Ford Edge. The suspect fled the scene only to return in a RAV4 with Florida license plates. That's when Rodriguez, who was waiting for police, started recording. The 40 year old was shot and pronounced dead at St. Barnabas Hospital. I still can't believe it till this day right now. Like it was just like such a sweet person. So many sweet people got taken away from us so fast just because little stuff. And Ayala Ozuna worked with the victim at Extreme Auto Body, where there's a memorial for the single father of four. Three of Rodriguez's children lived with him in the Bronx. A fourth is in Santo Domingo. Meantime, at the 46th precinct, the driver of the RAV4 voluntarily spoke with detectives today, claiming he had been asked by an acquaintance to help retrieve paperwork from the crash site and had no idea what was about to happen. Though the gunman has yet to be arrested, co-workers say they're glad the investigation appears to be moving forward. He was hardworking. I know he had plans for the future. You know what I'm saying? His kids are still young, so I'm glad they're making justice for him. Well, at this point, it appears unlikely that the driver of that vehicle who spoke with detectives will be charged criminally. The investigation, of course, continuing. In the meantime, friends and family preparing a final farewell for Fausto Rodriguez. It will be a memorial service here on Saturday, and then he will be buried in his native Dominican Republic.